Um, stick to the game plan that you came up with on Mirage heading into this series. You don't change anything based off that first map. You just play as if this is the first map in the series. And that's the only mindset you can have as a player. Oh, here's Five a bodies in these upper B tunnels. Sorry, we just realized no one's in the middle. So they have a window to go right now before anyone can help out RPK. He's alone on the bomb site, and backup won't be there in time. He's going to have to get at least a kill, maybe more. There's oh. a nice headshot jumping, but Poison will take him down. Critical that they got that return, or the retake would have been looking way more doable. Poison will pick up Apex. I think, did he try and sneak through? He certainly went down pretty quickly. Three versus four, and... Vitality trying to keep up the aggression that they had on Vertigo, but this time it's backfiring and Rush will be getting the last kill there. Poison with the triple and Complexity win the pistol. That's got to make you feel good if you're Complexity. Some very nice shots coming out in it as well. And even with the early realization, Complexity handled the retake. Three kills from Poison. And if you go back to Vertigo, he was probably the player in uh, Complexity was having the best performance with some of the sequences that we saw. Just needs a little bit of help from his teammates here on this map. And I think he could have very good game. One to nothing for Complexity. So at least uh, getting started on the right foot. We'll see how long it lasts. Yeah, I mean, that's... Every, it's hard to forget that for, uh, first map, even if we weren't even the, the ones playing in it. So you have to assume that Complexity will need a couple of rounds here to shake it off as much as you can. So far, so good as they get the opening in the middle on Apex. And blame F. Ooh, Ooh. he's going to go through. Yeah, I was thinking about it. Oh, I thought he was definitely committed to that. He heard the footsteps of, uh, of Zaiwu. Obviously didn't realize it was Zaiwu with the scout. Maybe he would have pounced on that opportunity if he had the chance. Either way, full mid control. Vitality heading over towards the A bomb site. They're going to stack here. It's just a 50-50 gamble whether Complexity come here or to the B bomb site. Although it looks more likely they had to be. Good call. Yeah, a real test. You brought up this point, right? Even though we've been impressed by Complexity, they're still a relatively new team. They've got a, you know, a couple of people on that lineup that, that you know, don't have a, such a deep uh, pool of experience to draw from. So this is something that we can also learn about the team. Uh, everyone, at some point in their career, is going to have to go through some sort of a massive beat-up in an important game. This is a final, so it doesn't really get uh, much worse than this. But you have to find a way to come back. You have to learn how to take those losses and, and still turn it around. So, yeah, that, I guess, is the opportunity for both us and them to figure out, you know, can they actually do that? And uh, let's be honest, too. Complexity should be playing this grand final with no real pressure on their shoulders. When you consider, we, we talked about this yesterday, the Blast premiere began back in January in London. And Complexity was there and not expected to do anything. Incredible upset victories there qualified them there for this stage. Yes. Let them, let them really skip the spring was. showdown oh, in its entirety. So and they've already also qualified <laughs> for the global finals. No matter what happens here, they're going to be at the global championship yes. for Blast Premier Circuit. So uh, they've gotten pretty much everything you could have hoped for. If they win this trophy, that's the cherry on top. Yeah, that would be great, wouldn't it, if they were able to, uh, to come up with that. And I mean, there's quite a bit of money on the line too, so... For all the incentive in the world to try and get this done. Oh, what a beautiful shot! He was mid-air and shot just to destroy his life. And look at Saibu could get a second one. This is dangerous for Blamef. Grenade is gonna come out, but that Deagle, it nearly takes him down. They managed to survive that mid-aggression, but... I don't know, I want to see a replay of that the first Deagle shot, that was great. That was, yeah, that was spectacular shooting from Shocks. Blame F gonna move up slowly but surely. Smoke in towards Connector. RPK almost got baited into that peak. It's Masuta lurking down the stairs to his death. RPK, is he jumping out the window? He's outside of his mind. He still gets a kill out of it. And three players alive for Complexity gonna walk into the B-bomb site. And all of this is still good. I mean, all we're talking about now is is getting enough momentum here to mentally put the first map behind you, make sure Vitality don't warm up to that same crazy level that they were at on, on Vertigo, make them cool off on the other side and, and, and try and reset everything as much as you can. Galil's a pretty good find. Jacques will be happy about that. Yeah. Someone will be. I don't know who's going to use it. But yeah, that's a, that's a good chunk of change that you don't have to invest into a rifle. So three to nothing. 
uh, for Complexi to start out here on Mirage on the T side. That's uh, that's got to be the best news they've they've heard all day. Yeah, it's you know just enjoyable not losing every single round almost. So I think it, it'll take anything at this point here. We'll save. Two Galils and an AK, and a couple of grenades on top. So their economy won't be super impressive, but it'll be pretty good. Look at this. I mean, this is just... That is just That's so smooth. Filthy. Sit down. Pretty filthy. Nice little team flash in there as well. Poison's got the AWP, and he's got six kills and one death. He is out fragging uh, the entirety of the Vitality team in these first three rounds. I'll be honest, Poison is the only one I can remember doing anything on Complexity on the first map. I don't remember a single kill anyone else got yeah. almost. Just Poison, so... <laughs> no, I, I'm the same way. There's nothing nothing else going on outside of Poison's double or the occasional triple kill at that A ramp. Um, so that's, that's a weird feeling. Mid control again from uh, Complexity with two players in the B halls. RPK and Shocks to defend this B bomb side. Apex is going to have a fast rotation or maybe even something to say about this split from ladder room. He's going to peek out just now, misses the timing. Rush hasn't turned the corner quite yet. And Apex, is he going to be aware? Here's the footsteps and now he can have a fast flank. Yes, he could. Shocks really locked in, but backup is not that far away. Apex turning the corner a second too late, but he gets a good follow up. Nice work on that orc. Yet again, oh, two on no. three here. Yeah, and they could have maybe got the reverse there. He does see the gun barrel RPK. He definitely knows who's up there. He knows it's the AWP, and that's an, basically a free kill for him. Leaves Blame F in the middle in the one versus three, and the bomb is in that B bomb site. So he's got 45 seconds to try and come up with some sort of a trick, but they should have a very, very good chance of winning this round, Vitality. Yeah, I mean that's one way to put it. On the other, the other way is to say there should be no chance for Blame F. There would have to be. I think one of these three players would have to drop their guns on the ground in order for Blame F to be able to win this one. Twenty-two seconds on the clock, and now that he's been spotted at that distance, he knows there's no point in moving forward. Coming in, I think just trying to get one kill. I don't think he would have actually committed to trying to win the no. round. I think it was more an effort of trying to take away that that third weapon on the Vitality defense. So first round for the CT side and they get a double up setup. RPK has picked up Poison's AWP, so that's going to be deadly to deal with Zaiwu and probably Shocks, I would imagine, to use those. I, I don't mind the idea behind this strategy, but I actually think if you replay this round in slow motion, you would... You could tell that there was just enough hesitation between the two arms of that attack that it allowed Shocks to stay alive an extra second longer. Like, that's actually the kind of hesitation that we don't see out of Vitality when they're running these, these calls. I think that if, if you're not going to be checking the ladder room, and you're going to be... You need to keep running into the bomb side. You need to go all the way. You can't be stuck out there on catwalk, you know, shuffling around. So, yeah. Need, need just a little bit more commitment, I think, for Complexity. I think that a couple of seconds slowed down probably is what did it to them in the end. Now they are not slowing down, very committed to this. Masuta's low on health and a good chance here, maybe for a quick bomb plant if they can get just one good kill. There's one refrag on Apex and they've got a couple of more grenades. They can actually keep them away from CT spawn while that bomb is going down. This bomb needs to get planted. Those smokes are about to clear. Oh, I don't know if he's gonna have time for this. It's just being planted now. It's open, it's wide open. Here comes Saiwu. Oh, and he's tagged one and gotten a kill. Oboe's down low and the counter utility coming in on the retake and they waited just too long. Bomb is not planted for Blame F and it won't even matter. Triple kill from Saiwu. And Vitality delay that plant just long enough. A perfect, a picture perfect retake. Yeah, that's, that's kind of, again, another interesting example here. Because they were on the bomb side real quick. As soon as they get the return frag on Apex, they had smokes up. They had more flashbangs. Even if I mean, they could have they could have put that bomb down while someone was just tossing a flashbang or two towards CT spawn, and any peak would have been impossible. But they they delay it. It's like they don't have they don't have the protocol all the way through. They're like, okay, we'll go fight on the A bomb site. But then once they get into that position where they actually have the smokes up in the first kill, there's a little bit of doubt in who's doing what at that point in time. Yeah. Oh, that's a that's a rough one for complexity. Not able to find it clean. Shocks with the op at the B holes, peering in deep. And this is going to be a slow deagle round for complexity. One player rush over in Palace. He's got 
flash Molotov, so maybe some kind of a fake. Maybe just keeping control of this as his teammates are rotating back now. So complexity switching things up. Now, it's a deep defense. It's a passive defense, a retake between Masuta and Zaiwu, at least for the moment, although Masuta is getting more and more dedicated into the bomb site. So there might be a chance that Complexity can find a plant. Again, two smokes going to be for a jungle and staircase. And you'll have to be able to blind Zaiwu long enough. They're going to pop flash peak. Masuta's going to be let in. Oh, and he's found out what's happening. Yeah, they wanted to surprise him, but goes the other way. Some good kills. Almost makes it worse that they weren't able to be the ones to initiate it, but instead got initiated a bond. Because they would have had a very, very good shot at doing a lot in this round if they could have got those two kills there before Masuta started to clean them up. They're not going to get anything. No bomb plant or nothing here. The double op continues to live. Vitality continues to build that money. And Complexity now tied up with their French counterparts. It's kind of cool. Chad mentioned this on the desk. I mean, just these these kinds of plays, it's so hard to read when they're going to come in. Vitality, whether, the, I mean, they're going for information plays. It's like they, they almost have like a really offensive mindset on their CT sides. It's like they yes. always want to be the aggressor. And it's very, at least for the moment, it's very cool to watch. I think the interesting conversation around it will be how long will they be able to get away, from, away with it before teams start to counter it, before they start to realize what the tells might be, if any. And it's such a contrast when you see a team that's not playing like this, that's just, you know, very passive on the CT side. You, I mean, of course, you're right. There are counters to it, but I don't know if it's working out real well right now for the Vitality side. RPK will go down, though. So a quick trade inside. We'll get tagged up as well. I'm not sure where, but he's at least down to 42. He got a, he got a peek in, I believe, at Connector towards top mid. He found one pick, but did take some damage. He'll be happy with the exchange. Masuta, again, close a ramp. And you better believe Zaiwu with the flashbang will pop flash him in, but Blame F has found his way through Connector through the smoke. Masuta going to get dropped. Oboe's ready for the aggression. Apex has no idea Blame F is here. He's going to be a freebie. It's all on Zaiwu now, but even if he gets that kill, Blame F's going to get the follow-up. So what a nice play from Blame F and some great shooting from Oboe has kept complexity and control of a very narrow lead. Four to three when this round ends. All right. He's actually picked up an op back there, Obo. Could maybe try and swing for it. Might not be worth it. Wow, that was a great round. Really well done for Complexity's side. I love the way that Apex, do you see that? He was going through that uh, the hole into the, the window room and he was looking straight ahead, it looked like. He wasn't even, he wasn't even, it's like if someone's there, it's not even going to be worth me peeking it. Like, I'd, I just, I'd rather not know. So I'll, I'll just be dead if anyone's there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't even think it would have mattered even if he was looking to the right anyways, so why not? He might have even not even been full-blown not paying attention. He might have just been staring at his mini-map just to see where everyone was, to see what information he could have, to know how to play that once he got through the murder hole. Nobody saw, nobody heard Blame F just walk through that smoke and connector. So a timeout called from Vitality. RPK's hurting for money at 3,800. Masuta at 2,600. The others can buy. Shocks can drop two M4s if he wanted. And it's all a matter of vitality, just figuring out what they want to invest in and how they want to play this round. Yeah, that double up is still really powerful. And again, Apex on that org is, I think, super impressive. A lot of scopes going on on the vitality side. Complexity need to take those guns away and, and just continue to build. It's a good start. 4-3. to three, It's looking super respectable and obviously quite a different game from what we were seeing on Vertigo, uh, which I think is just that to begin with is good news. Imagine if they'd come in here and just got blown up again. Ooh, deep nade in mid. He's alone Blame here. F quickly to Connector. Poison's got the op shot. That's a nice kill. That's deep. And now Apex is the only defender here. Here's that jump through. Pop flash in. Oh, but Apex has gone the wrong way. Blame F made it through. Oh, he's got the spam anyways. What a great find. Somehow Apex has pulled that one off. That actually gives them a chance for a retake. They might have been screwed otherwise, but 
This is really interesting. Now we got the same scenario for Complexity. Can they find a way to put that bomb down without losing everything? Now Saibu's shown up with the AWP, and that is dreadful news for Complexity. Three versus two. He's still at CT spawn. He's gonna swing, and actually they take down Apex as well. So now it's a one versus three, and they gotta respect him. They gotta make sure they don't try and fight him one at a time here. Let him come and overextend him into the side, and they'll do just exactly that. Well played, especially as they were getting that bomb down. That's a nice obstacle for them to negotiate, and that's going to be a 5 on 3 now, or 5 to 3 lead, really, for complexity. And this time it's an A hit with very minimal smokes. You can see that's just, that's the only smoke there, the one that's top connector. That gives Poison a free glimpse deep into jungle. It gives Poison a free glimpse towards staircase. That AWP can be so effective in that position. And even at times you'll find you can catch defenders off guard when they believe there's going to be a wall of smokes, and they give you an opportunity, a couple seconds where you can land a shot. Complexity, five to the three of Vitality, and they have economic control as well, and BlameF continues his reign of terror. He has been solo attacking Connector, Connector a number of times. That's brilliant. I really want BlameF to play his way into this because he's been such a weird X factor for anyone playing against Complexity. Uh, remember when we saw him on, on Nuke when he was just outside on his own doing crazy things? Like, he's, he's been hard to control. So, if anything is going to make Vitality feel uncomfortable in this game, it could be just uh, the erratic style of BlameF doing, you know, crazy things on his own while the rest of the team is off somewhere else. I, I really admire what Zaiwu just tried to do in that round. He got the dink with the USP. Or someone got the dink with the USP, and Zaiwu actually goes for a knife at the end just to see if he could get money for the AWP. And said that weapon is dropped to him. He trades an M4 over and gets light armor. So Vitality now, unlike Vertigo, uh, playing from a disadvantage, which is which has got to uh, be an uncomfortable situation in these grand finals. Ooh, nice shot on Obo, falling back, but Shox is going to be catching Config. He was trying to hunt down that AWP. And four versus three, powerful start here for Vitality. And nice. they kind of needed a little bit. Started to fall a bit behind. Six rounds already looking good for Complexity. This round, though, does not like it's going to go their way at all. RPK has got a good angle, although he's almost getting wrapped on. Apex will be there to help him out. And now it's just a question of how much damage Poison could do with this AWP. And he's getting no targets at the moment. Oh, <laughs> would have loved to have had that shot. Nice attempt from Poison there in the end in a one versus three. Yeah, Rush was really the only chance that Complexity had of turning that round in their favor. He got the first kill, but was not expecting the second player to be coming out of market. A good hold from RPK and Zaiwu. And you're right, Shox might have actually had the critical kill in that round. The second, or actually I should say, the first player coming up catwalk, Zaiwu kills the second one with that initial peak. So that first player is actually way, way closer than he expects, and he probably could have turned that corner to get that kill if Shox doesn't spam him through the smoke. This feels like much more of a game that we've got going on here. The money's under a lot of pressure for the Vitality side. That's really the, the big takeaway, even winning that last round. They've got to be careful. Attempt from Poison, not afraid to try and challenge Saibu. Probably should be, but at the same time, it's hard to play AWP on really any map if you're going to be scared. So, trying to see if he could make that play work, and he's going to get smoked off. Rush, they've left up in the A apps, while the rest of them are gravitating towards the B bomb side. Absolutely no mid control at all for Vitality. So, that's interesting. Yeah, well, I think they've, they don't really, I think they're just kind of, they've been punished a couple times when they fought for it and had some more advanced positions, so I think at this point they want to play a contained strategy. Oh, nice man. push into Palace to find Rush, and now Zaiwu can focus pretty much solely, especially with fire down at a ramp towards middle. All four players of complexity stuck with mid control, but nowhere to go, and this is the essence of the containment strategy that Vitality ran this round. Yeah, they've left Masuta up in the A-apps. Even if they make a breakthrough here into the A-bomb site, it's going to be just a long, drawn-out fight that there's going to be backup coming. Now they boosted on the other side, and that's Shox getting that kill. That was looking over the box over on Catwalk by B. 25 <laughs> seconds, and Complexity are stuck, but they can't let them get away with all this money. They need to get some kills, and Apex is denying them even that much. Poison now in a one versus five, and this is actually a huge round for Vitality. They had no, no one had above 2k going into this round after the buy, and now every single person survives. Yeah, that was rough. Complexity just ran out of utility. 
They had all that mid control, but as soon as the palace hit happens, they don't feel like they have anywhere to go. There's not a second prong to that attack, and they don't have any smokes or flashes to even make it. That one is fading as we speak. At here, a config and blame F just might as well run to their deaths and nowhere for poison to go either. So Vitality coming back into this game. Five to six, one round away and two round win streak for them. All deagles for the complexity attack. Blame F on a mission again on his own with just a deagle. Always fun if you get a pick off here and maybe allow for that B hit to do some more. He's almost got it. Nice pick off. Ooh. Taking down Apex. That's a strong shot with a deagle. Now, yeah, he knows the orb is out there somewhere. He's going to try once and going to get shot at the back by Misuta. And there was a smoke covering them from over here on B. They couldn't really get in. An amazing flashbang to set it all off with. Was that a friendly flashbang? I think there might have been shocks actually flashing RPK. That's going to give them a bomb hunt and a two on three. And this is actually almost unforgivable for Vitality. They should not be uh, taking this many casualties, maybe lose the round here in a two on two. Yeah, we'll see. Here comes oh. the retake. Oh, that Molotov doesn't make it all the way to bench. Another misutility for Vitality. Masuta gonna lead the way. They've spotted out Oboe. That Molotov, he's already changed position. Masuta, again, leading out from the market. Oboe's got the kill. Masuta can't find the trade. And a two-round lead for Complexity. That was a team flash, Anders, but I think Shox was throwing that into the holes for RPK to peek. There was also a flashbang thrown by Complexity. I'm pretty sure both actually ended up hitting RPK. So I think he was going to be screwed no matter what happened. Yeah, he was he was really, really blind. A second earlier on that flashbang, maybe. I don't know. It's hard to say. Regardless, that's... That's expensive. They've got the double orb, but almost no grenades, and Poison will win the fight against Shocks. That's amazing. What a great first kill to start off with. He's been trying to hit that uh, orb shot for a little bit. Apex will go and pick it up and try and see if he could maybe carry it on, but if they win this round complexity, they are off to an amazing beginning. I mean, it's already good, 7 to 5, but this can actually be some sweet revenge coming the way of complexity. Apex juggling weapons back so he can transition to the AUG if they get too close, but he definitely wants to be able to, excuse me, he's just going to have let RPK have it. Man, in a battle of who's the AWP or RPK or Apex, I don't know which one you'd want to go with. Apex. But they might just want to give up this round. Apex has the shot on poison. Apex can do everything now. In-game lead, AWP, he's just, he's, there's no, <laughs> there's no limits for him any longer. Oh, blame if This is the flank that could win the round. He's going to get only the one. We'll fall back, and again, yeah, don't want to fight it here. You've already got a huge lead. Two versus four. Saibu's halfway across the map, and as long as you just smoke him off upon default, it's not going to be an issue. They're going to go and challenge him, and Config will win the fight. Masuta in a one versus four that he just cannot win here. This is a great start to the second map for Complexity. Again, just proving a lot about this team in terms of some mental strength and getting back into it. What an encouraging uh, story this is. Man, uh, that's an uncharacteristic miss from Zaiwu in a round. I think that, you know, even in a two on four, he might have been able to turn it. There was no smokes, just flashbangs left for complexity to get that bomb planted. And they knew one was in CT spawn. So chances of them planting for Zaiwu's crosshair were, were pretty good if he'd just been able to hit that first shot. Eight to five, and you're correct. Complexity with a massive advantage, a massive lead. Three rounds and economic control. And that sucks for Blame F. Dinked through the smoke by a USP. Yeah, you, it's such a brutal sound, isn't it, as well, when you've got the helmet on? Sounds like someone dropped better than, an animal. Better than the your... sound when you don't have a helmet on. Well, yeah. I guess that's true. <laughs> Here we go, into the bomb side. A couple of people out of cowboy, but it doesn't really matter. They're going to clean it up in a matter of seconds to get a ninth round on the board. Final map would be Nuke, which, I mean, that I actually think could be so much fun. If we get there. If we get there. We'll find out. Eight to five, three round lead. Complexity about to be at nine. 
And looking good at doing it. This has been a, a great T side. They they ha they haven't really. I mean, it's not been without its its struggles and its obstacles. Vitality's uh, been able to fight back a number of times. They ran off three straight rounds four, five, and six. They won rounds ten and eleven in a row as well. And either of those times, they could have they could have grabbed like a pretty good grip of the game. But yeah. complexity just just took it right back quickly enough to where Vitality you know can't build into anything super special. So especially when you consider the the context of bouncing back after the decimation of vertigo um this is showing some some real nice grit from complexity config's got a sawed off shotgun uh i don't think he's going to be using it yeah it's doubtful maybe even for someone bullets. as crazy as him yeah that even that's too much here we go into the middle some shots coming out from apex not really doing quite enough there it looks like it's going to be the same kind of crunch towards the a bomb side shocks is over at the catwalk there are a lot of smokes that's blocking him but this push out of b though from cyber and rpk that is confirmation that there's nothing really happening on this side of the map and in the middle shocks even just challenging the smokes and nearly gets a double kill that's not bad at all rpk is wrapping around them and config is he hearing it i don't know if he is Oh, wow, this is strange. This is very strange. And he he's going to win the round. Oh, no, maybe not. Another player. Oh, this is so dicey. There it is. He turns. He needs to get this quick. Poison, though, is way too fast. What a phenomenal turn of events. Wow. And oboe has got open space to work with. Zywoo trades it right back. Rush. Fall. Hey, these T-sides are, are very, very cool. Very aggressive that they put together. And if Complexity is going to struggle, much like they did on Vertigo, to win the initial battles, the Vitality is just going to be able to power their way into bomb sites. So let's hope that this switch, we have this better Complexity in the first half. I want to see it hold up here. Shock's going to take a peek. Taps away. It's just Blame F. He forces him away from the aggressive stance in Palace. But Vitality not calling anything just yet. Still passive, still a default spread, and the bomb is remaining in T-spawn for the moment until Vitality figure out where they want to go. I mean, one potential difference that's, you know, uh, just a map difference between Vertigo and Mirage is obviously you, you can give up that bomb plan on the A-bomb side a lot of the times on this map and still have a great retake. So we'll see if Complexity have those kind of protocols. It really broke down for them on Vertigo. You saw every time the bomb was down, Complexity could do nothing to try and get back in there and they would just shut out. So... I expect that will be different. It looks like they're going to be coming to this bomb site. actually. There are two HE grenades on Oboe and Rush, and Rush is quite far away, but Oboe is in a position where he could do a fair bit of damage as they're trying to get in there. We'll see when he uses it exactly. So far, just the USP is out. He's missing a couple of shots. Going to bank it off the wall and right onto Misuta. Not that much damage. Blameth, on the other hand, hitting a great shot. And the bomb will be planted. So a four on five for the retake. Obo also with a kit. And now the backup is going to be coming every single one through CT spawn. Long range flash going to be set up here. Let's just see how good this is. They're at the corner and here it comes. Pop, Misuta. Not flashed at all. That, that did nothing. But the headshot certainly will. Obo with a big double kill and shocks now alone with a P250 and a one versus three. And this would be soul crushing if he could win it. And yeah, I mean, that almost looked like it was going to be a kill. But what a great retake coming in from Complexity, and they will win the pistol. Yeah, looking good to start this off. A really nice, really nice retake. Good usage of the utility as well. Unfortunate for Vitality. They had the positioning at the stairs for this battle, but they had no more flashbangs after that. They just had the one HE grenade. So previously, we normally see one flashbang so they can turn the corner and aggress on the retaking CTs, but the option is just not there. Vitality going to invest with the plant into the second round. AK picked up by Zaiwu, Galil on Apex, and RPK. So dangerous here for Complexity. Yeah, maybe more than they realized, or looked like they weren't actually looking for it. They're not prepared at all. The speed behind this push is so overpowering, and it's really shocking that Oboe was able to get both those kills. He was completely caught off guard. He's out for a third as well. What an incredible defense. He was absolutely caught with his pants down, and so was Blamef. He was just running across the map in towards the connector, and somehow Oboe comes out with a massive triple kill. He just saved them. I'm wondering if they're targeting Oboe on rounds like this. Remember, he's the one who experienced the run boost on Vertigo twice. They went right at Oboe early on. And the unfortunate thing about this, if you're Vitality, is Shox had the exact fight they wanted. 
He had the entire magazine yes. of the of the Mac 10 shooting over at Obo and could not complete the kill. So Obo gets a quad kill, but he's already won the round for vi or for complexity in the first two kills that he get. Yeah. He took the pressure off of that attack. And once he gets the first two kills, they're t they, when complexity when his teammates rotate into position. You know, the players are all far back enough that they can take the aggressive angles deep. If he doesn't get those first two kills, Complexity's forced back into the choke points as Vitality swings into the bomb site. I believe when uh, asked by Samla, Maniac said Oboe for the for the player to watch here for Complexity. He's 19 and 9 right now. What an incredible display to put up in a finals. He's going to have such a such a cool, cool career ahead of him. Uh, and it's 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 really awesome to see in the story behind him on complexity when they were kind of shuffling when Jason Lake made his now famous tweet about building a juggernaut. There was only one player on that complexity roster that was like, there's no chance we're letting him go. And that was Oboe. Yeah, they, they I mean, he had, he had some chances to pick up some actually fully already constructed rosters. And he said no because he wanted to keep Obo on this team and being rewarded for it now down the stretch is is this really cool thing to find. Poison's gonna see Apex at top mid. Deagle shot narrowly misses its mark. HG in the hand, Rush gonna do a little bit of damage with that and playing it safely here. Trying to see if he could hide behind the box for a minute. He will go down, looked like he would have easily had that double kill, but whatever, it's fine. It's not a big loss at all. Shocks here. Hoping for a Deagle headshot on someone to make it expensive, but he won't even be allowed that. Nice triple from Poison. Um, I want to touch on this uh, while this buy is coming in from Vitality. We've seen Obo and Poison do a lot, and, you know, Blame have had a couple of moments here. A Config's been playing. He's, like, in the middle of the pack right now, but we haven't seen, and this is something to look forward to if you're a Complexity fan, potentially. We haven't seen any of the truly mad Config rounds yet. Uh, we, uh, and that, that's something that could be happening as well. Um, he's an aim monster when he gets going. Yeah, it hasn't really been necessary because they've been playing good on this map. And, I mean, he's had other people have, have stepped up and he hasn't need to make any of those crazy plays. And on Vertigo, obviously, just never had a chance. <laughs> that's a big win for Shocks. But He's still, the rest of the Vitality hit heading towards the A-bomb site. Damage is being done. Utility is out. And Complexity is winning everything. Yes, they are. Another grenade could be coming in. It's going to be a smoke to block it off and a missed chance for Saiwu. I can't believe he's still alive, and I can't believe he got that kill right through the smoke. A little bit awkward now. They're so low on health. If Complexity were to give away, this was a 4 and 3 lead. That would, that would certainly be really shocking. Well, with Zaiwu still alive, anything's possible, even at 8 HP. For the moment, Vitality is going to ignore the bomb. They don't care about it. They're trusting Zaiwu to keep the defenders away from these positions. It's Misuta you got to keep your eyes on. He yeah. has the most HP, 100 health, and he's moving across the map to find a new angle of attack. And unfortunately, I think he's going to be caught off guard. Blame F, off angle here in the underpass. And yeah, Misuta's already pre-aiming deep. And I can understand why he's surprised. And yeah. in one sense, there's no reason Blame F should be there. I mean, you, it, it's impossible to, to you know, pre-fire or pre-aim 100% of the angles going through the whole map. I mean, you're going to run out of time if you try and do that. So he had to make some guesses, and that one wasn't the right one. 24 seconds, and Saibu with another kill. And no one there to stop the bomb from going down. So they're incredibly low on health. But this orb is the great equalizer in these kinds of two-on-twos. Don't underestimate it. Shocks also hearing and listening. He'll, I think he's already heard Blame F. He knows he's up there somewhere, I imagine. Rush, the grenade won't catch anyone. So that was the other weapon that maybe could have brought this back. Oh, this is a scary round. They've had all of the lead so far, Complexity, but it might evaporate here. They're running out of time. They have no more grenades to really mess around with. And so far, Shocks and Cyborg have just stayed hidden here. Cyborg, great timing on that kill. One more in the back. He's got three already. Tapping the bomb a single time is Rush, but he's out in the open and he's about to go down. A quad kill on Cyborg to survive with a combined nine health. And that's a huge round for Vitality to win. I, I hesitate to be super critical, but that that positioning of complexity in a three on two to leave the bomb so far across the map to be so far away of where the bomb is and where the bomb eventually has to be planted. It's it's I don't know. It's not that, that those are the decisions that lost the round, but it's those are the decisions that gave Vitality a chance in the round. If you're sticking up close by and all three of you working together, you can recover those situations. It, it's just an interesting choice to see complexity traverse that much of the map away from where 
you know, the goal, the objective is for Vitality. 12 to 7, and Zaiwu with low HP given all the space he needed to work. And you want to talk about someone carrying his teammate through, team through this map. 18 kills on Zaiwu. Yeah, that's massive. Scary map to be uh, facing off against him on as well with this much space to work on that AWP. So, but, I mean, this doesn't have to be a disaster or anything. They're still, they've still got a good lead. They have, they did cost them a lot, so they're going to have to spend a lot of money rebuying into the round, and it's not everything they would have wanted. But just because you're still remembering that first map, it makes you feel uncomfortable. You feel like, man, don't give them any chances here. And there's another one. Saiwu blind shot as he takes down Oboe, leaving Blameth and Poison on the map. And they want to go. They want to take this bomb side right out. Blameth down here would have to come up with a massive defense. Big double kill. Poison with the headshot, taking down Apex. And now it's just about Blameth hiding for the team to be there. He wants to go and fight, and Saiwu will drop him. He just continues and can't be stopped. Swapping out for the M4 now, but it's another two on two. And this time with a minute and 20 seconds. That's an incredible double kill from Blame F, and he's the one. All the all the Vitality players coming out of Palace were aiming at Poison. Blame F is the one that gave Poison the space to get that third kill in the round for this defense. What a huge performance! I don't think Config is close enough at top mid to have heard them running. No. And he's gonna back away. Yeah, he didn't hear because he's looking towards that A bomb site for the moment. Rush has stuck around, and Zaiwu, on for the ace. Yeah, he's really going for it. He's having himself a game and a half right now. Well, they're going to be walking into a crossfire. Rush could take a couple of steps back and just be looking there, but Config is scoped up. He can't see it. He's dead if they... Oh! The timing is unbelievable! And Config... I don't know how you explain that. That's wild. That had to have just been... I, no one... Rush not hearing anything, Config not seeing anyone, and why not just look to your left, but... Yeah, there was plenty oh. of space for Vitality to take the peek on him without him ever being able to see it while scoped up. That was a quarter second away from being another lost round and a reset economy for Complexity. Did what a good hold from him and Blame F. Yeah, because Saiwu didn't have an AWP, right? Like, there was no scoping sound being made or anything. Maybe I'm missing something, but I, I can't no. believe it. It was just all an internal clock. He felt like... He felt something. Apex sneaking through. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's the kill what happening the? anyway, but I don't know what just happened. The bomb is down inside of the B-bomb site. A grenade to try and force Config out and, well, just take him right down. Two versus three. And Vitality looking to pick up an eighth round here. And it's looking very good for them at the moment. Complexity can stick around and look for some fights before the bomb goes down. But once it's down, I don't know if it's worth throwing away these guns. They really don't have the cash to lose them. Yeah, you're, and they, they have the same idea. They're bailing out. There's that AWP. I think they hope they can find in towards Connector. Obo going to go down at the end, which is unfortunate, but Blamef does have the AWP, and I don't know how much that's going to matter in the next round, although obviously in someone like Poison's hand, he can turn it around. Good kill on to Zaiwu. <laughs> but there's not enough money to buy around this AWP, so that's all they're going to have. And considering Blamef has the armor, he might just want to keep it. Why not? Why not try and do that? I'm just... The, the way that this all got started with Apex almost getting himself killed and then somehow still being rewarded as the guy that was behind him actually ran past him. I'd love to see it from the other point of view. I, I just don't even know what was going on in the middle there. Anyway, good, good round from Vitality. Great <laughs> stuff overall. I wonder if, like, Poison, even, like, his, his... I wonder if Apex even showed up on his screen and he was just like, yeah, there's no chance that someone, you know, is in Connector. My opponent is in Connector. I, I don't even know. That was a that was a weird little sequence. Off in the hands of Blame F, and Oboe's going to get armor and Deagle. So is Config. Poison's going to save for an op of his own in the next round. And Rush uh, doesn't have the money to afford armor. Ooh, he's setting up for it. I think he just got spotted. Apex going to go for the fight, and that could have been the end of Blame F. Down to five health. He was setting up that of smoke to, uh, you know, anticipating the Molotov coming out. Rush is going to be run down, and... That is a chance to save the AWP yet again, I believe. All right. This is this is cool. I like seeing Vitality fight back in this sense. Yeah. You thought they were going to grab control in the previous round, and Complexity was able to hang on, but here's certainly a big advantage. Poison defending the cash register. Don't do it. Business is insured. It's not, not worth giving your life over. Just let it go. Yeah, just get the hell out of there. Let him have it. 
He's got his little, little coffee mug as well. You think it's a small coffee mug to make him look intelligent or a big coffee mug to make him look, you know, goofy and cartoonish? That I think that looks like a small small size size coffee mug. I like that play. I think it's it's yeah, I'm calling it early. I think by late 2020, Jason, you're going to see just a a real resurgence of small little coffee mugs. <laughs> yeah, it's the new style of coffee mugs. All right, that'll be I'll keep my eyes peeled. Maybe invest now if you get the chance. You could, could make your own, your own Jason mug, something like that. I think it could be. Yeah, a coffee thing. mugs aren't going to go out of style anytime soon. Not quite yet. Thirteen to nine, a four-round lead for Complexity. Another round they're going to have to sit out, and Vitality have the uh, the red carpet to get the double digits, and then, and then just three rounds back, they're in striking distance. I'm just realizing for anyone that didn't watch the game yesterday, that, that conversation sounded like we just both had a stroke. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Lame yeah, in the right well, position. Nothing, nothing new there. No. Apex is going to try and create an escape route, uh, Plan B, if you'll call it for his team. Oh, he didn't see anyone. On, he didn't see him on balcony, whatsoever. Did not spot that player at Oboe's. Now in Palace. Ooh, this, this could be is, fun. This could Blame be really creative. Yeah, if he can get the skill and he will taking down Apex, that's huge. Now, it's Opo up in the apartments and. They might not have a good reason to check for this. I mean, if they make one I mistake. That, I think they're going to slow it down, Anders, because they, they evacuated the B bomb site as soon as they saw the op there and went to A to avoid Blame F, and then Blame F is at the A bomb site. And I think now they're just going to hit the pause button and be quiet and hope and pray that he rotates to the other side of the map. He's still going to be nearby in window room. He's hearing them stepping, so he could call in Blame F. He's over by the jungle. Molotov. Let's see how quick Blame if is going to be. Not his traditional role. It's going to be a smoke to block him off. That's annoying. He has to relocate. Rush has shown up as well. There's the distraction. Be a kill with the MAC-10. They take down Oboe as well. And now it's a 2-1-1. Still 30 seconds here. And he's going to be creeping slowly in. But they know he's going to be. They just smoked him off. Surely they'll think about it. An overextension here could cost them the round, but they're going to plant safely while Saibu is covering. It's a bit of a chance. It's a good shot through deep. Grenade, does it kill him? Yes, it does. And he's back for more. He misses by just an inch. And it's RPK with a triple instead. What a great effort, though, from Blamef. I mean, that's it's costly. They can rebind it this round, but it's still 13 to 10. And Vitality, they're not just going to roll over in this game either. Not only a great effort from Blame F in this one versus two, but also a really great job of Blame F of marshalling his teammates for this attack right here. I thought maybe it was a bit silly for Oboe to show his hand that early in the round, but at least it's combined with Rush pushing upstairs as well. Flashbang from Blame F, and they began again trying to take advantage of Oboe, the young, inexperienced player trapped at default boxes. Nice flashbang, but he's blind as well, and they're all converging to help him out. He's got another double kill. Oboe oh. is the Delivering. He burns through to his teammate, but he was at low HP regardless. Yes, he was. Obo is an absolute champion. If they win this match, I mean, a large part of it will be because of him. Three on three, and again, Vitality, just like in the last round you pointed out, slowing it down and making sure they know what's coming. That smoke is not covering nearly enough if they want to go for a bomb plant. Oh, but a big challenge. Apex to take down Poison. And that is an unlikely fight to win. AK versus Orb at that range. Rush, though, he's still nearby, and if he could just find the right timing, he could open this back up, and they might have a chance. He's just waiting for it while Blamef is setting up on the other side. Good Molotov will force Rush all the way back, and he could be in trouble behind this. Blamef can't find a way to get into the fight. Rush has gone down, and Blamef is going to be dropped next. Nicely handled from Vitality. A lot of patience once the fight is in. They just slow it yeah. down. Yeah, poise to be able to just say, everyone wait, we still have a minute. Don't feel the rush to plant the bomb. Let's wait and see what the reaction is gonna be. And I, I'm not even gonna fall blame up there. That Molotov is thrown on the top of the balcony as well. I think a little bit of the fire descended onto his toes. But Obo, that's, that's a spectacular job. Every time Vitality has tried to exploit him by rushing that A ramp, he's, he's answered the bell. And even though they don't win there, it's, it's, it's awesome to see. 22 kills on Obo, 25 kills on Zaiwu. What a what a return this is right now. 13-11. You, you felt it in that one round where they had a four on three and Saiwu ended up taking them back in the round and winning it. That that, that might have been a moment that, that shifted the game a bit around that they maybe shouldn't have won. Now that round has spun off another three and it's become 
it's become a really, really good run that they've had here. Shutting down the economy of complexity, getting Vitality warm back up again. Sai was at 25 and 15 right now, and with that in alone, it's just incredible here. Some pistols have been picked up in this round, but right now, this is looking like a Vitality team that has just seized the moment, and they're right back into this finals. and could end it in two map if it keeps going like this. I mean, we might not get to see Nuke unless Complexity could come up with something. Yeah, that would be heartbreaking because they've played just so damn well this yeah. whole game. But Vitality, as I mean, they've just been impressive in their own right throughout this tournament, and now they're about to spin this on its head. They're about to take complete advantage. 13 I mean, to 12. What we've been, what we were saying about Vitality when they were playing on the CT side, what we loved about their defense was that it was super aggressive. We had them flash their way into that uh, A ramp. We've had yeah. them go check top mid. I'd love to see that out of complexity every once in a while. And it's, it obviously is risky, but I feel like right now Vitality is showing that if they can just get it into a three on three, they'll, they'll slow it down. They'll find a way to, to win those rounds. They have enough grenades at the end of it, and they've done that consistently. I think part of the issue is a lot of these rounds have been so aggressive from Vitality that Complexity is not even able to like settle it down enough to, to coordinate something like that. Look at how quick this is happening. A minute and 35 seconds in the round. We saw it in the previous one as well. A really fast play up the A ramp. This is, um, this is a blistering pace from Vitality that's not letting Complexity feel comfortable at all. Now, you're hoping if you're Complexity, this switch into the double up setup is the answer. Poison and Config with the AWP. And if there's going to be contact plays up the ramp or up towards Catwalk, those ops are designed to pick off the first player. Nice attempt from Config. I like it. The aggression to try and see if you could get that early established dominance. And he's going to go back from one at Wild. And the first idea was great. The second one is mad. I feel like yeah, once but you get cold. We, we love that. Config for his mad plays. We love him for his mad plays. Yeah. This is the double edged sword of players like Config that make those decisions. They're going to try and see if they you can gotta find aggression. You got to take the good with the bad, Anders. Yeah, well, it's true, isn't it? I, I know. And we're just asking for it. We can't take it back now. Shock's nearly <laughs> catching them, but even getting the information is great news. And Blamef going down. That's Apex, who got into the middle. What an incredible position. And they know that the push is up there. They're in so much trouble. Poison trying oh. to see if he could bring them back into the round. He's already got a double. He's peeking again. A third one coming in. Absolutely brilliant. And Oboe has got down. He saved them so many times on this A-side, but this time he's low on health. Oh, no. Burn and he does get out. He sees them running back. If they can make the call, if Rush can get to B before Vitality get there, they can actually do this. It's a low percentage round, this one, but that's maybe the only chance they've got. <gasps> He's running there. It's almost time. Yeah. They're going to get there quick enough. I don't... Rush, I, he might be able to grab the angle, but I think one's at least going to get past him before... Oh, no. Okay. He missed it. And that might be a critical second, but he could also get out of market. There's the smoke. He's already through. Oh, but it plumes, and he's got no vision. This has worked out just wonderfully for Vitality. They're going to win. Obo with 14 HP has to grab the AWP and save what he can. I mean, what a sequence from Poison, but ultimately... It's a similar kind of thing. They, it's a two-on-two. Two. Vitality have enough time. The clock is, you know, it's like 45 seconds at that point, and they just, they can just run away. They're making some incredible decisions. Some of the, it's not that necessarily the early strategies are super elaborate. We're not seeing, you know, fake after fake and anything deep like that. But the mid-round calling, once they get into the the thick of it, is amazing. They're going to be tied up. 29 this is kills. a yeah a wonderful comeback and you have to say while he's had some help as people have caught up and got into this game Zai Wu is in hard carry mode and the best teams in the world have a tough time overcoming this Thirteen, thirteen. time for a deep breath yeah. From complexity, they have been getting steamrolled. It's back to that same feeling on Vertigo. At least, I mean, look, I'm going to do my classic play where I'm going to try and spin a huge negative into some kind of a positive. They yes. have experience after an entire map of Vertigo of just getting trounced. They know what it feels like. They know how quickly this can spiral out of control. And they should be able to, at least this time, calm it down enough. It's been six rounds straight for Vitality, seven of the last eight. Jason. And it's time for them to buckle down and figure this out. 
if you'd already, let's say, got hit by a car on the street, if it happened again, would you say, well, I've, I've tried it before, so it's like second time's not, not as bad. I've already been here. I'd say second lawsuit, baby. Let's go. Here we are. All right. Well, I love it. I love the attempt. RPK is going to be here. Pick in the corner. There's an orb and an MP9 on the other side, and he will not get any of them. That's a strong fight. That's the kind of aggressive, assertive play we were talking Ooh. about. That's complexity. Trying to take the game back into their hands. And also, Config will drop shocks with the Deagle. There's poison again, and this time it's Saibu at the fall to him. Oboe. Same as it ever was. Strong on that A site. This is the kind of round I think they desperately wanted. Just the momentum change of them being able to take charge of the round and not waiting around for Vitality. Poison back at it. A third kill for him. Him and Obo right now are just yeah. feasting this game. I was about to say, we talked a lot about Obo performing well when he's been called upon. Poison has done the same thing. Unfortunately for Poison, I feel like most of his really impactful triple kills have ended in round losses for complexity. They haven't been able to convert those into victories. This time, though, the only man with an AWP, he's got a quad kill in the round. That is great stuff from Poison. And yeah, a little bit of surprise on Shox's face. But finally, complexity put a stop to the run, and they maintain a one-round lead. Fourteen, thirteen, one round lead. The fans are going crazy there over there at the the fan cam on the complexity side. Jason Lake surely somewhere in there. I do miss his screaming at events when we have those back. I'm sure we'll have that as well. But uh, right now it's gonna it's gonna have to be on the webcam, and it's gonna have to be another two round for complexity. I don't know if they can stand going into overtime here on the second map. Out the middle they go. It's Poison down there with the orb. He's turned. He's inside of the smoke, and a lot of people here backing him up. But oh no, maybe not enough. Shox has made his way so far in. He could crack open this whole round with a single kill. Poison has no idea he's down there. He thinks he's relatively safe, and he's gonna make his way back. Maybe it's all for nothing. Shox trying to hunt him down, and that is the opening kill. Big one coming through. That A bomb side is practically undefended. Oboe's been smoked out. He's trying to play around the smoke, but if he goes down here, they don't have that much money. It's going to be a huge issue. And on the other side of that smoke was Zaiwu. Vitality just taking this cautiously in steps, in stages. And it's a retake scenario for complexity. They've got four players alive, three kits, plenty of utility. And this is where we get to see what complexity's made of. Yeah, I don't I don't think they're gonna do and it. I don't think nope, they should. They're backing off. I think this is the smart oh, choice. I I don't know. They've got money for another buy. I'm not sure why they're not fighting for this round, to be quite honest with you. With just, all this utility, see what mm, that's I, I mean, listen, it's a hard call to make. I think you could make arguments both directions. It's yeah. going to be 14-14. I mean, we'll never know. Here's what, here's what worries me. Remember yesterday on Inferno when we watched Vitality versus Na'Vi in the second half, and it felt like at the end of that, that yes. Vitality actually never fought for many of those rounds, or like they, they fought for like maybe the last two, but for nine rounds, they just kept saving. I, I, it's not the feeling I have of complexity in this half, but if they lose the second map and they get eliminated in these grand finals and they lose this grand finals because they're not you know, good at going for retakes when they have the... Like, what happens in this round? A four on five with that much utility and that many kits is doable. What happens in this round if it's a four on two? You know, or like, what happens if Vitality have such a massive advantage that you just can't go for it and then you're going to regret not attempting a doable retake? Yeah, no, you're right. That could have been one of the better opportunities and, and only in hindsight will you really know. Uh, maybe we'll have to find that out the hard way. Poison almost peeking into his death. Apex was up there and Saibu's up there as well now with the AWP, so you want to be really careful. Looked like he had a chance there. Saibu's patiently waiting for someone to show up. They're going to be backing out and... Vitality are actually really heavy on that B side. They're expecting maybe some sort of aggressive. We could do Shox is waiting in T spawn, just hanging out. Hopefully, hopefully not disconnected. No, he's back moving again. <laughs> I was worried. Oh, it's all on this. A very different look for Vitality early on in this round. Very different look. A little bit slower, a little bit more measured. Back towards mid we go. Two smokes left, plenty of Molotovs and plenty of flashbangs. Another smoke used in towards window right now. They're going to start running out of utility. They need, to make, they need to make good use of this. I imagine they can end up at B through Catwalk and... Rush has an yeah. HE grenade to slow them down. 
Config has a Molotov, and that Molotov could be pivotal. If it goes into the B hallways at 30 seconds here, they're gonna have almost no time at all, but that's a big if right now. Strong kill for Rush to begin with, and a good follow-up. Headshot is there, the Molotov is in place, 20 seconds, and they are in a lot of trouble here, Vitality. They're running out of time. Rush with a third kill, defending the bomb site, and now it's 14 seconds. Bomb plant delayed, Shocks coming in with one more kill. They might actually oh, no. turn this around. Unbelievable, Asobo goes down. It's Saiwu continuing to carry this team. 30th kill ringing into this round, and now Blamef on the flank. Oh no, the timing on that peak, he just let him pass, and now he sees it's too late, and he's being watched up here. Saiwu, he's got eyes on everything, and he's gonna get that 31st kill to get Vitality on 15 rounds. Series and tournament point. Oof, that is so rough. So many missed opportunities for complexity. And a round where Rush delivers you the first two kills in this hold. This is a round you absolutely have to win. A triple kill from the anchor of the bomb site, but no one else can add in. Great kills from Shox. Great kills from Zaiwu. One chance for Vitality to close this out. They would take the grand finals if they can win this round. Plenty of money for complexity. Remember, off the back of the save two rounds ago, that makes them rich. They can buy whatever they want in this final round, not hamstrung at all. You see the impact of Saibu in a game like this. It's so outrageous, isn't it? Uh, Obo and Poison as a duo have been trying their best to shut him down. But in some of these rounds, if it's it just him and someone else left, it feels like he just can't be stopped. Here we go. Round number 30 coming up. We've got the double orb, as you pointed out. They've got the money complexity to fight this. They desperately need that overtime. They need to find a way to redeem themselves here. They've had a great game on Mirage, and now Shock's gonna be charging through the MAC-10. Rush is ready. He gave them a triple kill last time. This time, Config helping out early. Blame it for the kill, and it seems like they found a way to do it. 30, 15-15 here, and we're gonna go into overtime. That is uh, almost a relief, isn't it? This time, yeah. Rush came up big again. Perfect. This is what we needed, overtime. We may not get that third map, but this game has been so magnificent. We deserve the extra rounds. Yes. Complexity showing some real grit, coming back after, bouncing back after, after Vertigo, and now forcing overtime when Vitality took the lead of this game. Remember, there was like a six to nothing run for Vitality in that second half. Complexity easily could have folded. And the young players, great experience, great job from Oboe and Poison staying in this game. Yeah, truly is. Let's see what they could do down the middle. Ooh, that's a lot of team damage, but it's probably worth it anyway. They're gonna be fine with it. Poison going down, Blameth spraying wild in the middle and taking down side with the entire Vitality team were there, and no one managed to catch him. Shocks though, also creeping up that A ramp, and Obo's on the other side, and he has just been a god at this A bomb site. It's amazing to see he's gonna catch him and stop that flank from coming in. So it's still really early, and this is where Vitality have done so much of their great work. When it slows down, and they're in this uh, mid-round. Yeah, problem is they don't have Zaiwu with them, and he's been one of the guys who's been able to more often than not pull them back from man disadvantages. True. He's got 31 kills in the game. So it's all up to Apex, RPK, and Masuta. And Apex coming up connector. Mid is not guarded whatsoever, but I think Complexity is going to be fine with it. Look at the position of Obo. He's pushed out a ramp. So Apex going to turn right into the crosshairs of Config. One on Catwalk. And surely, spotting Apex in that position w sounds the alarms that A is going to be under attack. Yeah. Bomb plan doesn't really matter at this point in time. Just make sure you don't lose two on fours in overtime. That's really the only thing you need to worry about. Masutra and RPK look like they want to go aggressive and blame it for super ready for it. So that's going to be RPK now on a one versus four. He'll take the first one down, but it's a long time to be fighting here. Smoke off to try and give himself a chance. He's managed to run through. It's a good start. Another headshot comes through and he nearly gets the spray. Brave effort from RPK. He made that look really cool, but it will be the round. The first one in overtime going to complexity. Yeah, if he could have gotten back, or I think his plan was to eventually use that smoke to just give himself some cover as he spammed through at the planter, and maybe you get lucky. Obviously, the Molotov changed his, uh, changed his ability to pull that off properly. 16 to 15. And the nice thing about that win for Complexity is it preserves their economy into the final round of this first half of OT. Yes, it does. They, they're going to be... 
avoiding that potential danger, which is an ever-present one playing on that CT side, especially in the overtime. These A hits, and especially again when it ended up in three on threes, was worked really well for Vitality at the end of regulation. It looks like that's what they want to get back to here. Of course, getting rid of Obo was proven really difficult, but they're going to find him in the middle of the bomb site. That is a big mistake. He's the only one there. The rest of the middle, I don't know. He didn't even need to join them there. That might uh, that might be what cost him this round. Yeah. Oh, look at shots. That might be a mistake born of inexperience and one of the few that he's made in this half. Shox is ready to flank them over at B. This retake is going to be nearly impossible. Config with a good kill there, and they're just going to get cleaned up. It doesn't even matter now. Wow, yeah, that's that's one misstep. It's a pretty big misstep, but maybe also one of the first we've seen him make in, in the first 32 rounds here. 16-16, a close affair down the stretch. And yeah, just as you're saying, it's it's always been difficult to flush out. Not for Zaiwu. He's been spectacular, and they catch him in the open. So another obstacle for complexity to overcome. Hurting in utility, one kit on config. They do have an op in Poison's hands, and he's got a pick. It's Apex to fall, a nice timing shot from Poison. Remember, Poison was the only really active member of Complexity on the first map, and he has not let go on the second one. High-level game to be stepping up in. And it's great to watch. And I mean, again, you know, just the, the pressure on Poison as well. You know Saiwoo's the, the guy on the other side that you have to fight against, and that hasn't, hasn't quieted down Poison. He hasn't been afraid to peek. He's been taking all the fights. It's quite something. Let's see if Config and Rush could defend this bombsite uh, one more time. Because that's what it's going to come down to. And they have a lot of grenades on the Vitality side. Oh. Conflict does have a Molotov as well. There's a smoke timing. They still have 55 seconds. But the problem is waiting this long is going to feel uncomfortable. You know that if someone is, you know, pushing down A ramp or A hallways or something, they're yeah. going to know. But look at the plan. Look at the plan. I think they're going to throw utility towards the B bomb site, and I think they're going to use the confusion, the chaos of that to boost one player in window. RPK and Shocks are there. I would imagine it'd be Shocks. And then you can re execute. Well, oh, they're going to keep going. Oh, maybe not. This seems crazy. saibu has been spotted. The bomb is behind him on Masuto, who's now falling back. So now they're leaving Saibu here. It's only 23 seconds, and Obo getting a kill. Rush with another one, and blame if inside of the side. He's going to go down to shocks. They need to get here right now, and that is a big kill for Poison. Now Masuto is alone, trying to cross against the AWP, and he's already got tagged up. Shot in the back of the head by Config. It's 17 to 16. Complexity win two out of three rounds in the overtime, and that has set them off really well here to maybe take away the map. That is a really bold attempt at a fake that late in the round as well. It, it's so crazy. It just might have worked. Jacques is almost able to create an opening, an avenue back into the round. But Poison again. And th this is what's crazy. It's it's the young guys. Config starting to catch up with 23 kills. Poison and Oboe are on 25. But it feels like Poison and Oboe have had the biggest impact frags in this match for complexity. That's a huge one for Poison to get onto Shocks. Just a bit of conversation going on, so I'm sure they'll figure out any issues. Yeah, looks like we're good to go. Two more rounds is what they need on the complexity side. It, it's proven really, really difficult to get rid of Vitality, and Shox is looking like he's not at all concerned by the pressure. He's dancing, having a good time. I mean, if anyone's not going to be, you know, at all concerned about this, the situation at hand, it's going to be Shox. Not having his greatest game, 17 and 22, but he's had a couple good isolated rounds. Poison held back by the Molotov. Same with Zaiwu, although he steps into it. Oh, a teammate puts it out for him, and Blamef thinks it's safe. Conflict waiting. Thought actually he would try and push through that after the shot, but not so. Poison with a oh big opening, and Zaiwu misses a chance. Rush is going to take down Masutra on the other side, and now the Conflict coming from the middle. He's actually got him blocked in right now. I don't know if Zaiwu realizes yet, but he could get shot in the back any second. Conflict's just waiting for it, looking into the window for the minute, but. Is he going to make the jump down? If Saiwu goes down, this round is probably going to get wiped out for Vitality. They need to really rally to get this three on four. And there's another nice kill. Poison just continues. RPK gets dropped. And Config, there's that late lurk coming in. And nothing Saiwu could do about it. He's going to catch Poison and go right down. That is 
an 18th round, two potential chances here for Complexity to bring in map number three, and that would be Nuke. Yeah, and, and Vitality had one round to close it out in regulation. Now they're facing the wall as well. Let's see if they can stand up to the task the way Complexity did. That is, uh, I was a bit nervous that Config was not being aggressive in Connector and that Zaiwu was going to have some opportunities to pull that back in their favor. 18-16, utility out for this Complexity attack. And towards mid we go, Config going to lead the way. Molotov in towards Connector, but that didn't stop Zaiwu last round. Another flashbang, a fast, aggressive split towards the B-bomb site, and Shox goes down. It's only one defender, it's RPK who's pushing into the tunnel as well. It's a nice play. Throw crazy config in towards the catwalk and get that early kill. RPK timing is everything for him right here. He's the only one that could try and hold this back. Vitality need that double OT. And look at Misuta. He's actually flanking all the way in T spawn. If RPK could hold on for a second, this could be huge. But they're all three waiting for him. And Cyber went down in the middle. Now that flank is the only thing left. Complexity have found a way to do it. What a lot of strength it took to get into this spot. One versus five. And Misuta, I mean. He's going to get caught even turning the corner. They know he's coming. We are going to get a third map, and I think we, def we deserve it as well. What a great game this could turn out to be. Nuke is going to be the battleground for it. Complexity, they managed to end it in over.